Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Foundation Revision video. We're doing the 100 days countdown until the GCSE Miles exam and the 74 days to go into a GCSE Miles exam. Today we're going to focus on two topics, the area of a rectangle and the area of a triangle. If you've got the revision cards, the area of a rectangle is card 13 and the area of a triangle is card 14. So they may be useful for you as well. So in this video I'm going to show you how to find the area of a rectangle, how to find the area of a triangle. We're going to do some questions on it and feel free to pause the video and to give those questions a try yourself. So in this video, I'm going to go through those. I hope you find it useful. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at the area of a rectangle. So to find the area of a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is equal to the length multiplied by the width. So if we do the length multiplied by the width, we get the area of a rectangle. So here we've got a rectangle and we want to find its area. So feel free to press pause and find the area of this rectangle and also find the area of this square if you want to. Okay, so if we wanted to find the area of this rectangle, we just do the length multiplied by the width. So we would do 9 multiplied by 5, and 9 times 5 is equal to 45. And also remember our units, we're finding the area, so that would be, in this case, centimetres squared. So the area of this rectangle would be 45 centimetres squared. We just do the length multiplied by the width. Okay, our next one, we've been asked to find the area of this square, so we would do the length multiplied by the width. Now, because it's a square, the length and the width are equal to each other, so we're just going to do 7 times 7, or 7 squared. So the area would be equal to, so the area would be equal to 7 multiplied by 7, and 7 times 7 is equal to 49. And again, our units would be centimetres squared. So if you got those both right, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, this time we've been asked to find the area of this rectangle here, and this is a non-calculator question, so find the area of this rectangle. Okay, so to find the area of this rectangle, we just do the area is equal to the length multiplied by the width. So we're going to do the length, which is 17, multiplied by the width, which is 6. So we just need to do 17 multiplied by 6. Let's see what we get. 6 times 7 is 42. Put a 2 down, carry our 4. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 4 is 10. So it means the area of this rectangle will be 102, so 102 centimetres squared. And that's it. So our units would be centimetres squared because we're dealing with centimetres here. So the area would be square centimetres or centimetres squared. So the area of this rectangle would be 102 centimetres squared. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next one. So the next one, we've got this rectangle. We've been told its area is 78 centimetres squared. We know its width is equal to 6 centimetres and we've been asked to find its length y. So feel free to pause the video now and find the length of this rectangle. Okay, so we know that the length multiplied by the width would give us the area. So we know that this number multiplied by 6 is equal to 78. So we just hit the area, which is 78. And if we divide that by the width of 6, we can find the length of the rectangle. So we just need to do 78 divided by 6. So 78 divided by 6. How many 6s go into 7? 1, remainder 1. How many 6s go into 18? 3. So that's equal to 13. So that means the length of this rectangle would be 13 centimetres. So that means the y is equal to 13 centimetres. And let's just check that. 13 multiplied by 6 is equal to 78. So that would give us the area of 78 centimetres squared. And that's it. OK, let's have a look at our next question. OK, let's have a look at our next question. And we've been given a bit of a context to this question. We're told that Jenny wants to lay artificial grass. Each square metre costs £14. How much should she pay for the artificial grass? Now, this is a calculator question. So if you've got a calculator, feel free to use it and if you want to do this question now press pause and try this question okay so we've got this rectangle her garden and we're told that it's got a length of 28 meters and a width of 12 meters and she wants to lay artificial grass on this garden so what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the garden to begin with so the area of the garden would be equal to the area would be equal to the length multiplied by the width so if we do 28 multiplied by 12 that'll give us the area and 28 multiplied by 12 28 multiplied by 12 would be equal to 336 meters squared or 336 square meters so the area of Jenny's garden is 336 metres squared or 336 square metres. Now each square metre costs £14 and we've been asked how much should she pay for the artificial grass. So she needs 336 square metres. Each square metre costs £14. So if we do 336 multiplied by 14, that'll be how much she'd have to pay for the artificial grass. So 336 multiplied by 14 is equal to £4,704. It's quite a lot of money. So she's going to pay £4,704 for the artificial grass. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've been given a square and a rectangle. We're told the areas are equal to each other and we've been asked to find the length of the rectangle. So feel free to press pause and work out the length of this rectangle. Okay, so because they've got the same area, let's find the area of the square. Because the area of the square would be the length times the width. Now, obviously, with a square, it's 18 times 18. So the area would be equal to 18 multiplied by 18. The length and the width are the same as each other. So 18 multiplied by 18 would be equal to 324 centimetres squared. So the area of the square is 324 centimetres squared. Now the area of the rectangle is the same, so that means the length multiplied by the width is equal to 324. 
So if we take the area, which is 324, and we divide it by the width, we'll get the length. So 324 divided by 6 would be equal to 54. So that means the length of this rectangle will be 54 centimetres. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. We've been given this compound shape. It's a L shape, or I suppose it's an R shape. And we've been asked to find its area. So feel free to press pause and try to find the area of this compound shape. Okay, so if I was given a shape like this, I would actually chop it into two rectangles. Now you could chop it across this way or this way, it's up to you. And I'm going to chop it across this way. So I've got a rectangle at the top here and I've got a rectangle in the bottom here. And we need to find the area of the rectangle in the top. That's easy, that's going to be 9 multiplied by 2. So 9 multiplied by 2 is equal to 18 centimetres squared. So the area of this rectangle in the top would be 18 centimetres squared. Now we've got this rectangle down here. Now in terms of this rectangle here, the whole width of the whole shape is 9 centimetres. And the length of this part is 5 centimetres in terms of this horizontal line. So if the width of the whole shape is 9 and this part is 5 centimetres, that means the width of this bit here would be 4 centimetres. So we want to find the area of this rectangle here. So it's going to be 4 multiplied by 4. So I suppose it's a square, we're going to do 4 times 4. And 4 times 4, 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 16 centimetres squared. So it means the area of this part would be 16 centimetres squared. So there, the whole shape, we would do 18 plus 16 is equal to 34 centimetres squared. And that's the area of the whole shape. So we've had a look at finding the area of a rectangle. Now let's have a look at finding the area of a triangle. So to find the area of a triangle, we do half the base multiplied by the height, or the base times the height divided by 2. So you can either half the base and then times the height. You get half the height and times by the base. Or you can do the base times the height and then half it. As long as we're doing the base times the height and half it at some point, you'll find the area of a triangle. So here we've got two triangles. Can you find the area of these two triangles? Okay, so let's find the area of this triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the base times the height and then I'm going to divide by 2. So I'm going to do the area is equal to half the base times the height, so half of 7 multiplied by 4. 7 times 4 is 28, so half of 28, and a half of 28 is 14. So the area of that triangle is 14 centimetres squared. So I've done 7 times 4 is 28, and then halved it, because obviously the area of this triangle is half the area of the rectangle, so half of 28 would be 14, so the area of that triangle is 14 centimetres squared. Now we could have done half of 4 is 2, and then done 2 times 7, which is 14, or we could even have half the 7, which is 3.5, and done 3.5 times 4, which is 14 as well. So any of those approaches would work. Okay, so in terms of this triangle, the area of the triangle is half the base times the height, so I'm going to do half of the base times the height, so half of 14 times 5. 14 times 5 is 70, so it's half of 70, and half of 70 is 35. So the area of that triangle would be 35 centimetres squared. Now remember, we could have half the base, which is 7, and done 7 times 5, and 7 times 5 is 35, so that would also give us 35 centimetres squared. You could even half the height, which is 5, and got 2.5, and done 2.5 times 14, but it probably would have done 7 times 5, or in our case, we've done 14 times 5 is 70, and then halved it to get 35. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, we're told the area of this triangle is 56 centimetres squared. So the area of this triangle is 56 centimetres squared. And we've been asked to find why the height of the triangle. So we know the base of it is 14 centimetres, and we've been asked to find the height of the triangle. So there's a couple of ways we could approach this. Now, the way I would approach this question is, I would consider, well, I know half the base times the height is equal to 56. So half the base would be 7. So 7 times y would be equal to 56. So 7 multiplied by y would have to be equal to 56, because half the base times the height is equal to the area. So 7 times 8 is equal to 56. That means the height of the triangle y would be 8 centimetres. And that's it. So in this question, we use the fact that half the base times the height is the area. Half the base is 7. 7 times the height would have to be 56. So that means that the height would be 8. And that's it. Now, there's another way you could have done this question. You could have said, well, the base times the height divided by 2 is 56. So you could have worked backwards. You could have doubled this to be 112. And then divided by the base, which is 14. And 112 divided by 14 would also be 8. Okay, so let's have a look at our next question. So this time we've got a compound shape. We've got a rectangle and a triangle attached to the top of it, like so. Uh, it looks like a little house or something. And we've been asked to find the area for this compound shape. So what I'm going to do with this compound shape is I'm going to chop it into a rectangle below and the triangle above. And we're going to find the area of the rectangle and we're going to find the area of the triangle and then add them together and that'll be the area of the whole shape. So in terms of the rectangle, the area of a rectangle is the length multiplied by the width. So it'll be the length is 12, the width is 8. And so we're going to do 12 times 8. So the area will be equal to 12 multiplied by 8, which is equal to 96 centimetres squared. So that's the area of that rectangle, 96 centimetres squared. Now in terms of the triangle, 
To find the area of the triangle, area is equal to half the base times the height, so half the base times the height. Now in terms of this triangle, let's find the base and the height. Well, the base of the triangle will have to be eight centimeters because if this is eight centimeters here, this is eight centimeters as well, so that's eight centimeters. And in terms of the height of the triangle, well, if the height of the whole shape is 17 centimeters and the height of the rectangle is 12 centimeters, that means the height of the triangle, this height here, would have to be the difference, which would be five centimeters because five plus 12 is equal to 17. So we now know the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle, so we're gonna do half the base times the height. So we're going to do a half of 8 times 5. Now we could either do 8 times 5 is 40 and then half it to be 20 or you could half the 8 first of all which is 4 and then do 4 times 5 which is 20 and so on. So there if that triangle would be 20 centimeters squared. So there if that triangle is 20 centimeters squared. So we now know the area of the rectangle and the area of the triangle to find the area of the whole shape we just add them together. So we do 96 plus 20 and that's equal to 116 centimeters squared and that's it. So that's the area of that shape. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at how to find the area of a rectangle, the area of a triangle, and how to answer some questions on it. I highly recommend the practice questions today. So if you go to the description below, there's a link to the practice questions. Give those a try and just make sure you're really confident on this topic. And that's it. So tomorrow, there'll be 73 days to go into your GCSE maths exam. And if you do find these videos useful, please recommend them to a friend or to your teacher, just because it'll help them do better in the maths, hopefully, as well. But also, it gets the video more views. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Cheers. Bye.